Hey guys, so here is uh, silver. Today we'll talk about uh, silver, about the larger downside movement after ignoring the immediate uh, and the near time, uh, near term downside uh, obstacles. So risk disclaimer, support, learn to trade uh, forex signals if, if you want to join the VIP groups. And uh, don't forget that uh, learn to trade team will never contact you directly, will never ask for payment, guys. So later today we'll have um, the US core uh, price index. As high impact event, also new home sales, revised University of Michigan consumer sentiment could, uh, could shake the markets. Yeah, also personal spending, personal uh, income will be released as well. So the economic data could, could really have an impact on, on the US dollar, on uh, silver, gold today, later today. Let's take a look here. Okay, on uh, on silver one hour chart. After the, this uh, this uh, rebound here, okay, a rebound, uh, sell off, uh, and uh, a new sell off, um, and this uh, this represented only a temporary rebound here before uh, a new a new sell off. Right now it has uh, dropped it and closed it uh, below one, uh, 21 point, uh, 179 downside the uh, downside obstacle. So. Um, yeah, maybe here uh, I would have liked to see a potential larger, larger rebound before a larger downside movement. But right now, the pressure is uh, is, is is very high. Is is, is high. The um, the buy the, the the bearish bias. Um, it's um, um, the, the the bearish bias uh, remains intact. Uh, the downside pressure and the the bearish pressure is high. So. Um, yeah, after reaching up or dropping below 21.170.79, uh, it has rebounded, but right now uh, um, it has dropped it again below this uh, below this level, signaling potential deeper drop. Because right now, guys, uh, the dollar index uh, is bullish. Um, it has ended its uh, its sell-off. Right now, uh, it has rallied in the short term, so that's why uh, also um, gold it has uh, it has turned to the downside again, and that's why, guys, the price of silver it's uh, it's it's bearish. It's strongly strongly bearish. Okay, in the in the short uh, short term let's take a look again here on um, yeah so probably the next target only because uh, here if it will uh, maybe let's use these levels these levels if it will uh, close and stable, drop close and stabilize below 21.133, then it could open the door for a for a larger downside movement, because um, yeah, probably it will uh, yeah it will invalidate here. Yeah, we had an imbalance after this uh, sideways movement, uh, an imbalance. It has uh, this uh, demand zone. It was invalidated, but we, we still have uh, yeah maybe here or here, uh, a new imbalance as potential maybe or uh, potential block, um, order block or potential demand demand zone. But right now, as I've said, uh, the pressure is still high. Um, the price of silver is uh, it's bearish. But let's wait. Let's uh, see how it will react here around 21.133 uh, because after its uh, after its sell off, we cannot exclude also rebounds or something in the in the short uh, short term. Please take a look here. Yeah, maybe uh, we have uh, also uh, if we we'll use uh, the RSI. Let's take a look. No, I thought that we uh, will have, uh, or I thought that uh, we have something like a, like a bullish divergence. Now, right now, no. But um, yeah, as I've said, I don't want to to sell it here. I don't want to sell it here. Maybe I'll wait um, here on lower time frames. Okay, after. Uh, this new uh, sell-off. Maybe I'll wait for. Uh, I don't want to sell it around the former low. Maybe I want to see a rebound before or a sideways movement uh, before extending its uh, its sell-off. But the the bias is bearish, as I've said, and uh, silver could uh, could extend its uh, its sell-off also as long as it stays uh, below the immediate uh, downtrend line. Temporary rebounds in the short term or sideways movements could bring us new short opportunities. Also, yeah, taking out twenty-one point one hundred thirty-three could. Uh, 
uh, open the door uh, for uh, more declines here in silver as i've said so personally i'm looking for for potential for potential shorts in uh, in silver only because the dollar index could uh, resume its growth but don't forget that um, the us data could be decisive today um, better than expected us data could help the us dollar to to appreciate and uh, could force uh, the price of silver to drop thank you guys don't forget to read the disclaimer bye bye